Hello, it's Veronica here, and I want to I just want to talk about my like Disney doll collection. I don't have the most Disney dolls, but I do have a fair amount of them, so I might as well do a video showing them. So I'm starting off with my collection of any Disney Princess doll who is officially in the Disney Princess lineup. I think there's like 13 or 14 of them or so now, and yeah. The only certain Disney characters are in the official lineup. Elsa and Anna sometimes are unofficial Disney princesses, but they have their own franchise that is separate from the main Disney princess franchise. And I wanted to kind of explain that real quick. But moving past that, let's look at the one they do have. This is a Belle doll from some time in the early 2000s. And the dress is also from that time, I think. And I had her as a kid. She's one of my childhood Bells. I did wash her hair recently to, to try to pick her up a bit. But yeah, I may display her because I love the dress. Like, look at this gown. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Then there's a Hasbro Bell doll with, like, a fully fabric dress, which is definitely a good thing for those dolls because a lot of them have molded on tops. There's a Hasbro Mulan, doll Mulan with a, with a fabric gown. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty on her. And also... What I've learned from my, like, Frozen Hasbro dolls is that these dresses fit Rainbow High dolls, so they're great for restyles. If you have any of these dolls laying around, I have, I have no idea what to do with their dresses. There's a Raya doll that I thrifted one time because she was in a bundle with an LOMG doll. But yeah, she, she came with her sword and she has her pants and her boots. There's a Moana doll I got from, from the Disney store. It's what's one of the earlier early releases of her. But yeah. I got her around the time the movie came out, so like there's Moana. But I guess let's just move on to the to my little other section. That isn't my Frozen dolls, because that one's going to be long. And now we're moving on to the part, the other part of my Disney doll collection that isn't official Disney princess dolls and isn't Frozen dolls. I will get to Frozen later, because Frozen is a huge special interest of mine. But this is... I kind of consider these ones a bit, a bit more miscellaneous, because they're in, in the doll lines. I don't collect the most of... But I do have a couple, I guess. So this is my Descendants collection. I know, it's not very big. Yeah, I know there's a huge de Descendants trend going on right now. And this video really does not have anything to do with that. I just wanted to show my Descendants dolls I have. So this is Evie in her cotillion gown from Descendants 2. I adore this doll. I adore her gown. She's one that I actually keep around sometimes because I, I like holding her. I love how her hair just stays in place and intact because it's all done up. She's just really, really beautiful and I've just always liked her. And this gown... It's, it, it's a top restyle piece for me. Like, I love this gown. It looks fantastic on Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls. And it's going to look fantastic on any doll you put this gown on. So if a doll can fit into this gown, it's going to look phenomenal on them. So yeah. And she also has painted on, on gloves. Which makes sense for her look. She has a little apple purse. 
She has a little ring with a crown and a heart on it, which is like the symbol for her fashion brand in the Descendants universe. But yeah, this will like probably always be my my favorite Descendants doll release. And this is my favorite Evie release. And she she's probably one of my top favorite Disney dolls ever too. So yeah. That is Evie in, in, in her cotillion gown. And now moving on from Evie and her gorgeousness. We have the one Audrey doll I have. So this one is Audrey in her D Sentence 3 look. She has the pink and blue hair. It looks very cool and different. Her tiara is still pinned to her head. Her outfit isn't the best material, but it's not the worst. It's just printed on, and she has really nice molded boots. And yeah, this doll is really cool. And, and the Descendant dolls also have very similar proportions to the Hasbro Disney Princess dolls. At least the Hasbro ones do. I know the Mattel ones are closer to Barbie sized, but these ones that have proportions very similar to the Hasbro Disney Princess dolls. So if you're ever struggling with clothes for these dolls, just look to your Hasbro Disney, Disney Princess dolls because those clothes and shoes are a good fit on them. And now there's some lines made by other companies. So that is my Disney ILY collection. I don't have a lot of them, but I have these two. And I like this one because she makes me think of the Storm Twins with her color theme. With the black, purple, and turquoise combination. And right now I kind of have her in her more like in her brighter clothing pieces and her boots, which I absolutely adore. Her other pieces are always being, ta being taken for restyles because they're very versatile. This is an incredible Disney Isle Y doll. So if you don't have her, get her. At least get her for her clothes. But yeah, the Ursula inspired Disney Isle Y doll is my favorite from that line. No one has dethroned her and like she's just a stunner. She's really beautiful. And the clothing pieces are really cool and really good. Then that is the Cruella inspired Disney Isle of Y doll. So I kind of have her in her skirt, her fur top, and her jacket, and her little like, and her, her little ankle boots right now. But yeah, she's a pretty cool doll too. She has a mixed hair blend to reference Cruella DeVille. And it's just, yeah, she's a cool doll. And her clothes are really, really good too. So if you ever need clothes for your Barbies, just pick up some Disney Isle Y dolls. Their clothes are really nice for that. And they can even fit your Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls okay as well. So yeah, they're really good dolls if you want dolls just for their clothes and for, and for restyling. And, that, and then that is a... A doll based off The Incredibles 2. It's a it's it's a Mrs. Incredible or Elastigirl from the film and she also has a mask that can like go on her face, has has some sticky stuff on it, but I took it off, so yeah, there's her outfit and there's her little shoes. Like yeah, there's really not much to say about her because there just isn't much to say there. <laughs> well, anyways, let's just move on to the Frozen section because this is going to be a long one. So, I don't know if I've really mentioned it in detail before, but Frozen was a huge special interest of mine whenever I, I was a teenager. Very much a comfort movie for me. I have seen the movie over a hundred times. And I am not ashamed to admit it. I know. 
its reputation was kind of dug for the dirt after Elsagate happened, but I'm sure this speaks for itself. So I have kind of amassed quite the Frozen collection. I consider this collection to be isolated and separated from the rest of my Disney collections because it's so massive. Like, unfortunately, the first Elsa doll I got in 2013 is no longer with us, Elsa number one. I have told her story on the channel before. But yeah. So I kind of always labeled my Elsa dolls by, by number specifically. And I kind of have them like organized by character and, and by company and stuff. So this is a JCPenney Elsa from like, from like I think 2014 or so. I plucked all the glitter from her dress. So now it's just a plain, really pretty satiny dress. So I guess I did modify her a bit by taking the glitter off the dress. Because originally it was caked in glitter like her skirt was. But I didn't like it, so. So now she looks more mature and she looks so pretty. Like, the bun is adorable. The face mold. That is the original, like, Disney Store face mold for Elsa. And this is the 2014 release of the Disney Store release of Elsa and she's a stunner like I love this doll she's so beautiful her hair is so long even if it's not the best material I love her anyways she's a doll who helped me through a lot and Elsa as a character in general is a character who helped me through a lot so is it obvious she's a comfort character because it should be And then her cape is really cool. It's glittery. It's long. It goes all the way to the ground. It's a very cool cape. I love it. Then this one is my... It's another Disney Store Elsa. It came in a two-pack with that Anna over there. So this is the Olaf's Frozen Adventure Elsa. She is so underrated, I swear. Like... The face is amazing. The, the dress is stunning. Like, the details on this dress are unspeakably amazing. And it's just, I love this Elsa. I don't care if she has, sleep, has flat feet. She's really beautiful. And here's the front of her dress. <laughs> then I have one, like, one version of Elsa in her Ola's Frozen Adventure look. Not that one, yeah, that one's the Elsa Frozen Adventure Elsa. And then there's, I also have an Elsa in like her, a uh, Mattel release of her in her Frozen Fever dress. So this is that Elsa. She's not my favorite, but she's pretty subs, substantial. So yeah. A dream Elsa for me to get is one of those Disney store releases with the heeled feet in her, like, Frozen 2 looks, because I really want to, like, get that one, because I need those outfits for her, but, yeah. And then, moving on from the big Mattel Elsas, there are my two Hasbro Elsas. This one's a little worn, obviously, because she's old, but, yeah, her look is much simpler, and these two are the dolls who taught me that, yeah, Disney princess clothes can fit rainbow high dolls. <laughs> the Hasbro ones, and it's a surprisingly good fit. And now this one, I know it's a Hasbro one, but I love the train of her dress. And the dress, I love her real purple heels. And the dress is such a good fit on rainbow high shadow high dolls. Like, I'm glad I kept her. And that dress. 
As for all of my mini Elsas, this one is one of those ones that has the whole like, clip-on dress feature. One of my neighbors gave her me one time. And I just always kept her, and she's just really cool. <laughs> and then there's the a Mattel one that I got much more recently. I love her little her little separate cape. It's very pretty, very pretty flowy. <laughs> then this one is, I think it's Hasbro. Like it's just like a little like mini doll action figure type one of her. It's really cute because it's Elsa. And then there's like an Elsa keychain light that I have. Because, yeah, I love Elsa. I'm sure you can tell who my favorite Disney princess of all time is. <laughs> and now moving on to someone not quite as important as her, but still important, Anna. So Anna is Elsa's younger sister. In the And fun fact, in the first film, Elsa is 21 years of age. And Anna is like only... 18 or so. So Anna is canonically three years younger than Elsa, which it, which is why with their doll height, sometimes Elsa's dolls tend to be a little taller than Anna's dolls because Elsa's the older sister. <laughs> so there is the Anna that matches that other Elsa that came in the same set as her. And I never really, really messed with her. She still has her bun. She has this really cool white streak in her hair to reference her being nearly frozen to death but death of by, by Elsa because if you've seen the movie, you know that Elsa nearly freezes her own sister to death. Kind of morbid, but very interesting. And then there's my my Disney store release of her from a similar era to that Elsa. And I have to like fix her braids and all that because the rubber bands kind of disintegrated over time, which is unfortunate, but yeah, I need to fix the Anna's hairs, the, all the, the hair on my Anna dolls and at least one of my Elsa dolls just because of the rubber bands, <laughs> but she has little like, but she has, but she has little like, like snow boots on. She has this really, this skirt with this really cool pattern. Her top has little rhinestones, and so does her little cape. And yeah, this is definitely a really great Anna doll. And there's the original Disney store face for her. She's really pretty. She has a little smirk, showing she's the more mischievous of the, of the, of the two sisters. Then there's my Ellis Rose Adventure Anna, who, like, I love her outfit as well. It's very detailed. It's very pretty. And she's just a really beautiful Anna doll. Her boots are, are similar to hers, except she also has flat feet under those, in case you're wondering. But yeah, there's her headpiece. It's really gorgeous. They mentioned that both these dolls have such gorgeous little hair pieces. Then there's my Hasbro Anna's. That one is the single release of her in her normal outfit. <laughs> and then that one is the doll that came with her in a two-pack. So she's kind of like in her nightgown. It's during the whole like scene where in Frozen 2 where she's... Where she, she wakes up in the middle of the night. Or is it the outfit that she wears during that one, like, during the beginning of the movie? But I know she wears this outfit closer to be to, to the beginning of the film. And yeah, I like it so purple for her, but this one is the one Anna wears at the beginning of the movie. She has a little necklace. <laughs> and the dress is just a simple satiny dress and it's a very cute dress she also has a little braid in her hair a little updo that i don't really mess with so yeah now moving on to my mini annas this is the more recent mattel 
aunt version in her original outfit from the first film. It's really cute. And then this is one of the Hasbro Annas with the mini dolls. And, well, she's really cute, too. She's a similar type of, like, doll action figure to her. So, yeah. They are my Elsa and Anna dolls. I know. This part was long. <laughs> and now let's talk about the guys very briefly. So the two main guys in the movie are Hans and Kristoff. So Hans is kind of the villain. He's kind of evil. Kind of, kind of tries to kill Elsa and commit treason. Yeah, that that's his whole arc. It's literally really trying to make Anna marry him. And then, like, he, really, he, he, he tries to kill Anna unexpectedly. He was kind of Disney's first twist villain. But yeah, I had to get his doll because Frozen. I also used his outfit for a Valentine's Day photo shoot with one of my male Shadow High dolls. So I was really surprised when the outfit wasn't the worst fit on them either. Because <laughs> I, I don't have a lot of formal wear or guy dolls for them, obviously. obviously. So, yeah. Now he has a decently detailed jacket. It's very formal, very old-fashioned. Has a little ribbon on that shoulder. <laughs> That's also in the gather, like the top and the pants. Has tall, tall black boots. And then there's Kristoff. Anna's. The guy Anna is like engaged to. In the in the second film, they finally. Anna finally accepted his marriage proposal. So if anything, I hope Frozen Frozen 3 covers that and their marriage and maybe them having kids or something i don't know that'd be cool but yeah there's Kristoff in his look from the first film came out at a similar time to that anna i actually got those who had the same disney store together so so that's romantic but he has a little hat it's like felt He has blonde molded hair. His face is very detailed, as is Hans's face, who looks who looks like he's up to no good. And then his outfit, it's like it's more of that nice that like kind of like felt velvety material. It's very warm and it's like Yeah, and, and he, he, he has has little has has little mittens. Has pants in a similar m m material to his undershirt, and then it's just that he he has these these boots that are like snow boots, and just really. And I do not have a, a lot of Olaf stuff because I do not like Olaf. I'm serious. I find Olaf annoying. He is obnoxious, and I hate it every time he 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 he, he is on the screen. Like I love any. I like every character in this movie except for Olaf, but there's a, a, a Sven plush I've had for a long time. It's one of those TY plushes. There's this little tag. It's, it's from the Beanie Babies collection. But yeah, I keep the plush because yeah, it's part of my Frozen collection. So I guess that was a long, like, video talking about my Disney collection. And I know the Frozen part is super long, but I had to include it. But I'm sure everyone has that one Disney movie that they're, like, fixated on, that where they have a comfort character from, and yeah. <laughs> so goodbye, Mysterious Audience. I love you, and we pre appreciate you watching the channel and I hope that you liked watching my overview of my Disney doll collection. I hope you enjoy the video and see you later.